Now, let's proceed to lesson number 5, kinds of quadrilateral. So, let's define first a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. It is classified as a square, rhombus, rectangle, and parallelogram, or a trapezoid. A quadrilateral in a real world is like this one. So, a tiles. So, this one is a quadrilateral. The mirror. And this one, the oven toaster. And this one, a bar of chips. And this one is a table. This one is the pedestrian signages. And this one is street sign. So these are the three examples of quadrilateral in the real world. Now there are types of quadrilateral. We have square, rectangle, trapezoid, rhombus, and parallelogram. So let's define first a square. A square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four rectangle, right? Four right angle. Again, square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides, four equal sides, equal sides, and four right angle. It forms four right angle. So now let's define a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral also with four right angle also and its opposite sides are equal and parallel they are for right angle and its opposite side the opposite of this one is this one are equal so they are equal and the opposite of this one is this one they are equal and parallel when we say parallel the line never met so here are the question is a square a rectangle? Remember, a rectangle is quadrilateral with four right angles. It is opposite sides are equal and parallel. And a square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four right angles. We can say they are the same in four right angle, but we cannot associate a rect uh, square for right angle. So we can say that a square is a rectangle because the opposite side are parallel and its opposite side is parallel and it forms four right angle next is a rectangle is a square remember again that a rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angle and its opposite side are equal and parallel and a square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides and four right angle now they are four a right angle right a rectangle very good but a, a rectangle it is two sides are parallel but they are not four equal sides not equal to this side to this side so we cannot say that a rectangle is a square so in conclusion a square can also be called a rectangle but it has a because it has a four right angle and its opposite side are equal and parallel and a rectangle is not a square because because it does not have equal sides so let's proceed a trapezoid
when we say a trapezoid, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral that has exactly one pair of parallel side. Remember, a parallel lines are lines that will never touch or they never met each other. They are equal distance apart at all point. So this would be a parallel line and this would be also the parallel line. So this would be a trapezoid because one pair of parallel sides. Is this figure a, a trapezoid? Let's define. So, yes, because one set up a parallel side. So, we have parallel line this one and this one. So, it is a trapezoid. Next, rhombus. This would be the figure of rhombus. So, a rhombus is a quadrilateral that has four equal sides. Its opposite sides are parallel. Again, a rhombus is a quadrilateral that has four equal sides. Its opposite sides are parallel. So, they are four equal sides. Equal, this would be, if this would be a four, this would be four, four, and four. So, and its opposite sides, this would be opposite to this one. So, this would be a parallel, correct? This would be parallel also. So, this would be a rhombus. Okay. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides that are equal and parallel. Again, a quadrilateral parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides that are equal and parallel which of the following quadrilaterals have seen are parallelogram so it is a parallelogram this would be a figure remember a parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite sides that are equal and parallel let's check so, it is a parallelogram. Very good. Very good, grade 4 pupils. It is a parallelogram. Next. Is a rectangle. Is a parallelogram. Let's check. Very good. A rectangle is a parallelogram. Because... The opposite sides are equal and parallel. Next, a trapezoid. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has opposite side. The opposite side are parallel but not equal. So, it is not a parallelogram. Again, they are parallel but not equal because this side is longer than this side. Next. Is a rhombus is a parallelogram? Yes. Yes, it is because this side is parallel to this side and this side is to parallel to this side and they have the same measure. So, this would be the uh, quadrilateral diagram. Again, a quadrilateral have four side and four angle. Under, that, under the quadrilateral is a parallelogram and a trapezoid. A uh, parallelogram has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and equal. This would be a parallelogram. And a trapezoid has one pair of parallel side. So, under the quadrilateral, again, a parallelogram and a trapezoid. Then, under the para parallelogram, we have a rectangle and a rhombus. So, a rectangle has 
for right angle, opposite sides are equal and parallel. Then rhombus has four equal sides, opposite sides are parallel. And a square, under the rectangle and the rhombus, we have a square. Square has four equal sides and four right angle. So, what conclusion can we draw from the graphics? From rectangle to rhombus, square, parallelogram. So, this would be the diagram again. What conclusion again can we draw from the graphics? So, first, a square can also be called a rhombus. Under the rhombus is a square. can be also called a rhombus, a rectangle, and a parallelogram, and a quadrilateral. And a rectangle can also be called as a parallelogram. And quadrilateral. And a rhombus, this would be the rhombus, can be called as parallelogram and quadrilateral. And a parallelogram, also called a quadrilateral. And a trapezoid is a quadrilateral. So that would be the that would be the lesson number five all about quadrilaterals so it's your turn grade four pupils you, we're going to answer this one choose the correct answer you have one minute to do this one so one two three your timer starts now for number one which figure must contain four right angle and four sides of equal length a b c d and number two a square is a quadrilateral true or false and for number three which is the best name for the quadrilateral shown is it a square b kite c trapezoid you have 22 seconds left Ten seconds. Time's up. The correct answer for number one is letter D because it contains four right angle and four sides of equal length. It's a square for number two is a square is a quadrilateral. True. And for number three. Which is the best name for the quadrilateral shown? This would be the figure. So this would be a square. That's all for today. Thank you and God bless.